Let's go to UPS and see what I have in store. So today I received this Magnetar UDP 800 Universal Disc Player. Since the death of Oppo, currently there is no real Universal Disc Player. Yeah, there's Sony X800 M2, but with the constant freezing and manual Dolby Vision switching, that unit is simply a pain in a donkey's bum. So I'm gonna review this and we start with opening this package up. Opening the box lid, I encounter the photo of the UPP 800 and it looks mighty purdy. Looking at the picture, I automatically reminisce about the look of the Oppo 203 that I used to own. So right away, my expectation went up high. Well, it's a combination between that and the price of $2,000 for this unit. And the packaging is very meticulous. You have to take off the styrofoam and immediately you see the player covered by a velvet bag. It feels very luxurious and smooth at the same time. Putting the styrofoam aside, take the player out, let my dog guard it. It's time to see what else inside the box. Well, you got the user manual, pretty thick actually. And the remote has tons and tons and tons of buttons. And most importantly, this remote is backlit. Impressive. And of course, an AC cable. The front fascia, as you can see here, have been meticulously built with high quality finish in two-tone colors. It looks very modern, very pretty, but at the same time also looking serious and professional. The chiclet buttons are there, but I'm pretty sure nobody will ever actually use them. I know I won't. The back is a reminiscence of my Panasonic UB9000. There's a gigabit Ethernet connection, two HDMI out, one USB 3.0, one coax optical, and RS-232 for service and home automation and a pair of XLR and RCA stereo output. At the end, as you can see, obviously, that's the power plug. With automatic power switching for worldwide usage from 100 volt to 240 volts in Australia. And on the top lid, on the right bottom corner, you can see that Magnetar ran embossed on that sheet metal. All of these screams luxury and quality from the get-go. And what I'm gonna do next will surprise you. Bring in the heavy machinery. Yeah, I have to use the screwdriver set that I got from AV Pro Connect. So I started the process of unscrewing the player because I want to see what's inside. And there were 13, yes, 13 screws all around. Without a joke, that's my favorite number. So a few moments later, the moment of truth. Wow, that's packed, really packed. So much more packed than Ravon 100. Freaking impressive. The power supply is caged and isolated from the rest of the system. There is no EMI RFI at all, thanks to that Faraday cage design. The optical drive is caged and isolated as well, so there is less vibration and even less noise will be heard from the outside. On the bottom right there, you can see the CPU and video card underneath that huge heatsink. And that ribbon cable is jumping the audio signal from the main board to the audio board of the system. The build quality and the tidiness surpass the Oppo 205. Overall, very impressive, very clean, and very professional looking. After connecting the LAN input with gigabit connection and also the HDMI to pixel gen design, 8K THX certified HDMI 2.1 cable, I'm now ready to test the player. So as soon as I press the power button on the bottom right, I immediately welcome by the Magnetar brand on the display. And the first thing I want to test is the drive noise. So I grab my CD, press eject to open the tray, plop the CD in and press play. Even at 200% gain, the drive is dead silent. This is better than any 4K player I've ever encountered in my life. 
Now I'm gonna try playing an external hard drive. So I flip open the USB input at the front left, plug in my portable hard drive, and it got recognized immediately. This hard drive, my friend loaded some MKV files. And as soon as I press menu, I can see that USB logo have been shown. From there, I move the cursor to video, press enter. As you can see, the drive have been recognized. Press enter again, and you'll see the list of movies that my friend gave me. As you can see, the navigation is very easy. Up, down, left, right on the remote. And once you find the movie you want to watch, just press enter. And a few moments later, the movie will play. I tested standard definition, high definition, 4K, 4K HDR10, 4K Dolby Vision. The only file that it cannot play is 4K with Dolby Vision. Playing MKV files in 4K Dolby Vision resulting in the picture looking weird like this. However, if you're playing ISO file with Dolby Vision, you won't have any problem. Regardless, this is a simple firmware fix that can be fixed very easily by Magnetar if they want to. So I wouldn't worry about that. Playing random videos from my DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K collections, it's pretty good as well. Of course, I cannot play every single one out of my 4,000-something disc collection. However, anything that I put in, well, it looks great. The DVD to 4K upscaling is actually better than Panasonic UB9000, and the regular Blu-ray to 4K upscaling is better looking than Sony X800M2. If I really want to nitpick, the only thing that I can nitpick is the fact that it does not play video CD from, I don't know, 25 years ago. If that means I cannot play my video CD of Joe's apartment, then so be it. At least the rest of my collection will still look very nice. Knowing me, I know you will ask, how is it compared to Panasonic UB9000? Well, if you're concerned about the HDR optimizer and chroma up sampling, yes, still get the UB9000. However, the purists out there who wants the signal to be as is, direct, and as pure as possible, the Panasonic cannot do that, but the Magnetar can. So in conclusion, the Magnetar UDP-800 is a very capable, very versatile machine. There is no machine out there that is this versatile with this level of quality at the same time. Uh, it plays SACD, DVD audio, audio CD with a great presence and great quality. It plays 4K disc, Blu-ray and DVD. It plays MKV file and ISO file as well. So if you're looking for something that's versatile and can produce picture quality as is to be processed externally by using something like MetVR or Lumigen, then this is the answer for you. It is not cheap, it's at $2,000, but it sure beats buying a Panasonic U9000 and then getting a Sony 800 and get an Nvidia Shield all at the same time. That's basically two grand as well. So why buy three different units if you can just buy one, right? So what do you think? Share your thoughts down below. Click like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Well, package a day, keep the doctors away.